Good morning, everyone. Welcome back again to Spiritual Growth Tarot and Astrology. I'm Denise, and I'm using the Sawyer's Path, uh, <laughs> a tarot journey, it says. It's by Jamie Sawyer. Uh, I found it on Etsy, but, you know, maybe things are on Amazon nowadays that I'm not aware of. Uh, so anyway, this is your reading for Saturday, November 5th, 2022. The moon is newly into Aries, and it's, it's joined with and moving closer during the day to Chiron. So this can be very healing for some people, especially any of those that you, or any of you who have been, any, any of, any of those of you, is that the right way to say that? I don't know. Who have been working hard to heal abandonment issues, to heal uh, places where you've needed to stand up for yourself and, and be a little braver, but then also maybe to sometimes to back off, you know, with Aries energy, it's a, it's a bit of a dance, often like two steps forward and one step back. So be gentle with yourself and others. So, so far we have the Two of Pentacles and the High Priestess. Hmm. Let's see, what else? But anyway, looking at the astrology, I would say it's a lot like we've had all week long. And I do the weeklies, so, so those are always uploaded um, way ahead of time. You know, the astrology for the week, if you like that. And But other than that, I can see that with all of the quincunxes to the moon, to Chiron, and then to the, uh, the sun, south node, and uh, Mercury, there will be some adjustments for healing this day, especially early this morning. So again, I'm thinking maybe pay attention to dream time. Oh, yeah. Okay, so this is interesting. We want the worky-worky card in the morning rather than the evening usually, but not everybody's like that. Some of us are night owls. I'm not, but some people are. And whatever is your natural rhythm for working, you've got to honor that. And I think that's why we have the High Priestess there, because she's reminding us of our inner wisdom, to trust ourselves, to understand ourselves better, to um, allow ourselves to be seen and heard and understood. You have to know yourself pretty well in order to reveal yourself. So this could be a little bit of the ups and downs in life as we're physically moving through life. You know, the sea of life, right? It, the sun comes up, and the, you know, the ocean's always there. Life is always there to meet us. We can build sandcastles. We can go to work, right? For, for you artists out there, this could be a really good day for channeling some art with the High Priestess channeling, and actually physically making art. Yeah. Wow. So this is, this is interesting, especially on a Saturday. Maybe some of you are selling artwork down by the ocean. You know, the beach communities usually have a lot of art walks. I, let's see, some other uh, possibilities with these three cards would have to do with maybe negotiating. The Two of Pentacles sometimes brings in negotiating. At, at the, on the deepest level, physical, you know, to me, I feel like it's about getting my priorities straight. There's a lot of needing to balance things out. But then again, it does go with the astrology where we're needing to make adjustments and adapt to something new that has come in with that Aries energy, you know, the moon and Chiron in Aries, it's like, oh, you know, it could be really healing if I open up and just do it a little bit of a different way. And you trust your intuition and go with it. And but it does bring in a little bit of, you know, a little more work. But I'm thinking in the long run, it works out to something really nice. Because the Eight of Pentacles is all about success and having really high standards, you know, you're mastering some level of your um, your work, your craft, because it's your reputation, right? I mean, we have to get our priorities straight so that what we put out there is of high quality. But we have to also be connected with our higher selves when we're working, um, 
you know, on the intuitive levels. We're, we're not just, we're not coming from our ego with the, um, the high priestess. Sometimes with this combination, it's, we're quietly putting our head down and working. Now, this is weird for a Saturday, but hey, I mean, you know, nowadays people work all different days. Maybe we have, I mean, not for years, I had Mondays off because I always worked on the weekends. Um, yeah. <laughs> you can never, wherever you're working or whom you're working for, there's just, we don't have that corporate nine to five thing going on anymore, do we? Especially not since COVID. So, but anyway, I feel like on this most, on the deepest spiritual levels, this is about, um, you're balancing and adapting to your higher self so that you you have a stronger connection to who you deeply are inside, right? Because we're talking like reputation and prioritizing. Like what really matters to you? And whether it's physical work that you're producing or it's just you working on figuring out what really matters to you, and you can only get that information by going in, inside and, and reflecting. It, because that's where you get the clarity. And that's what the High Priestess is all about. It's that, um, that inner intelligence. <laughs> and you can see the moon here. It's like, and I know it's a necklace, but, it, it, but it's like, trust your gut is what I'm getting with that image there. Trust your guts. They're always talking to you. They've come to call uh, call it our second brain. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sometimes, just laughing because I'm thinking sometimes it's only my first brain doesn't, my brain brain doesn't work, but my guts do. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> so, okay. Well, I'm going to uh, cut, cut this off, get this uploaded, and wish you lots of love for the weekend, and be back soon. <laughs> Bye.